After seven years in state custody, either in jail, the secure psychiatric unit of the state prison, or the state hospital, Eric Largi's lawyers are asking that he be freed as his case moves ahead toward trial. He's already served more time than he would have probably if he'd gone to trial and been convicted. At some point, it has to end. At some point, people have to accept the fact that he's going to be released into the community, Your Honor. That, it's just kicking, we're kicking the can down the road. Largi was originally arrested back in 2009 for allegedly attacking his father, Clifton Largi, who is the former Nashua police chief. He was in jail for a year and a half and eventually found not competent to stand trial. So he was transferred to the secure psychiatric unit of the state prison. He spent five years in that facility, and when his commitment was set to expire this past spring, prosecutors reindicted him for kidnapping and first degree assault where his bail was set at $100,000 cash, essentially guaranteeing that he will stay behind bars. Prosecutors say they're especially concerned that Largi is unwilling to participate in mental health counseling. He's already indicated, I think, to the court a number of conditions that he's not willing to comply with, other than I'm going to come to court and I will stay away from these other people. Defense lawyers ask for $100,000 personal recognizance bail, and Judge Charles Temple agreed. At this point, I haven't been presented uh, with any evidence that would prove by preponderance of the evidence that uh, you are, in fact, dangerous to yourself or the community. The court has ordered another competency evaluation for Largi and did make counseling part of his bail conditions. Putting live the newsroom, I'm Andy Hershberger, WMUR News 9.